I love racing. It's a real adrenaline rush in the beginning. Then it's all about strength and technique. It's the most exhilarating feeling you can have. To find out more about one of the most exciting talents in British Paralympic sport, we made the trip to Middlesbrough, a town in the northeast of England. Jade Jones is an 18-year-old wheelchair racer who competes in the T54 category, and she competed in the 400, 800 and 1500 metres at the London Paralympics. More recently, she won bronze in the 1500 metres at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Jade is currently in her first year at Teesside University, where she's studying law. The teenager was born without a right femur, the thigh bone. Her knee was effectively attached to her hip. At the age of eight, her right foot started to go limp, so the decision was made to have it amputated. My parents asked me if I wanted it done, and you know, me being the eight-year-old, yeah, why not? Get rid of my foot, why would I need it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I, I kind of, you know, it, it was difficult at first to get used to, but I mean, it's something I've just grown up with and it's always just been a part of my life and I've never really thought of it as a problem. So, you know, when, when my parents did ask if I wanted you know, amputating, it just made sense to me because it, it, it was kind of, it was causing pain and, you know, it was not doing anything good. So in the end, it just worked out better for me. Jade is the protege of British sporting legend Tanny Gray Thompson. In a glittering career, the 45-year-old former wheelchair racer won 11 gold medals, four silvers and one bronze across five Paralympic Games. She retired from racing in 2007 and now leads a busy life as a parliamentarian, a campaigner for the disabled and a TV personality. Well, my husband Ian, who was my coach, uh, we, we met Jade when she was 12 at a sports day and she was very quiet and she didn't say very much, but she looked interested in the racing chairs. But on that day, she didn't really want to get in the chair and I think there was something we just sort of noticed in the way that she was looking at the equipment and she wanted to be involved but wouldn't push herself forward because she sort of never sat in a chair, you know, and never had a prosthetic leg or for a long time. So wasn't used to being around disability sport and didn't really know an awful lot about it. I mean, even when I first started, I was just kind of, you know, it's just a bit of fun. And, and then suddenly it got serious when I started training six days a week and, you know, that I got invited to big events and, you know, it was all fairly overwhelming at first because it happened so quickly. I mean, I've only been competing for five years. Well, Coaching Jade is sort of um, a partnership between me and Ian, and uh, I, I think I was quite a challenging athlete to coach, so he did well with that. So I, I was kind of the learning curve for him. <laughs> uh, I think Jade's much easier to coach, but we, we spend a lot of time talking um, about her planning, what she should be doing at, at certain times of the year. Uh, I'm involved in, in sort of her programmes. Day to day, Ian is the one who trains with her. Jade is currently in full training for next year's IPC Athletics World Championships, which will take place in Doha. After that, her focus will switch to the 2016 Rio Paralympics. She's using the state-of-the-art facilities at Teesside University to enhance her chances. An environmental chamber recreates exact climate conditions and allows Jade to race in the same sweltering heat she can expect to face in Rio. What we're trying to do is you're trying to hit the push rim and you're punching the push rim. So it's equivalent to try to punch somebody on the nose exactly the same point 80 times a minute over and over again in exactly the same place so actually the, the kind of position of being able to bang 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 that needs to be absolutely spot on if you miss you've missed a push if you're not on quite properly then you've been an effective push it's got to be all the way through exactly the same exactly um, every single push and so that's why we do lots and lots on technique. I mean, the technique is crucial, so it, it, it all depends on like, the timing, it, the you coming onto the push rooms and also leaving it. And, you know, that's something that just progresses over the years. And, you know, I've only just started, you know, to get that down and be able to do that when I'm under pressure. So that's kind of what's enabled me this year to, you know, get those medals and just be able to be up there with the older girls. 
In 2012, Jade was one of the youngest members of Team GB at the London Paralympics. The Games were an unforgettable and somewhat overwhelming experience for her. They announced your name and, you know, with me being British, the whole stadium just erupted and it was absolutely incredible. I mean, 80,000 people screaming your name. It was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. And I mean, I froze, you know, I, I, I struggled a lot with my first event. I think without that experience at London, I wouldn't have been able to perform so well at the Commonwealth this year. Jade's memories of London contrast greatly with what Tammy remembers of her first Paralympics. My first Games of Seoul in 88, Nobody really knew much about the Paralympics. You know, there was one TV programme six weeks after that, you know, just kind of covered, oh, didn't everybody have a lovely time and wasn't the British team great? The big change came in Barcelona and then with each four-year cycle, there was another step forward. But I think the biggest change came with London 2012. And the fact that, you know, every day there were 85,000 people coming to the qualification rounds for athletics was, was totally unheard of in, in Paralympic sport um, and I think that pushed the athletes performances on it also made you know household names out of Paralympians Paralympians for the first time were able to on a bigger scale access sponsorship media coverage and, and all of that I think came from you know from London 2012 Para sport grows stronger every year and Jade is part of the new generation of athletes who will continue to push the movement forward most wheelchair racers don't peak until their mid to late 20s, so under the watchful eye of both Tanny and Ian, you can expect to be hearing more about Jade Jones in the years ahead. Jade is actually very switched on. She's very self-aware, and that's really good within an athlete. Now, she's the kind of person who's definitely going to be going places, and. Um, Again, we'll see, we've got two years to Rio, and then four years onwards then to Tokyo, and um, who knows where she's going you know, to that and beyond that. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.